Hi, I'm Ivan from WebWash, and in this video, you will learn how to open web forms in a dialog box, or as they're often called, modal windows. Now, WebForm makes it very easy to do this. Just turn on dialog support site-wide, add a few specific classes to a link, and when you click on the link, it will open the form in a dialog box instead of taking you to the actual form. So without further ado, let's jump into a Drupal site and implement all of this. So let's start things off by downloading WebForm. So jump over into your terminal and type in composer require Drupal slash WebForm. And then jump back into your Drupal site and then go to extend and search for a WebForm. You will see a lot of modules here, but the two that we want to install are just a WebForm and a WebForm UI, and then click on install. Now go to structure and you should see web forms. And for this video, we'll use the default contact form and we'll display this form in a dialogue box. So here's the form, it's pretty basic. It has four elements, your name, your email, subject and message. Now, the first thing we need to do is switch on the dialogue settings. So go back to web form and then click on configuration and scroll down all the way to the bottom until you see, here it is, form dialog settings. So here you have the dialog options where you can specify different widths for the dialog box. Sometimes you may want the dialog box to only be 600. Other times you may want it to be 800 pixels wide. And then we have a wide version which will display it at a thousand pixels wide. And you can also add in any custom widths that you like. Now from here, make sure you check enable site-wide dialog support and scroll down and click on save. Now, if we go back to forms and then click on build and go to settings, then scroll all the way down, you should see this dialog settings. If you can't see this, then make sure you have enabled the site-wide dialog settings in the previous step. Okay, you will only see this option on the individual form if the dialog settings has been configured site-wide. So here we have the actual markup required to display the form in a dialog. And if you click on test narrow, it'll show you what the form will look like using the narrow settings. If you click on say normal, it'll show you what it looks like at 800 pixels wide. And then here, in source, we have the actual markup required to open the form in a dialog window. And all that is required are these classes, which is webform-dialog and then or webform-dialog-normal, which is the name of the settings. So if we copy this, so let's grab the narrow one, copy this, and let's open up a new tab and let's create a contact us page. Contact us. And if we paste this in, now take notes of the classes. And if we click on save, it's technically not going to work. And the reason for that, if we go back into our contact us page and view source, you will see that the classes have been stripped out. And that is because the text format has been configured to only allow certain attributes. So this is very important. What we need to do is we need to configure the basic HTML text format or any format where you want to add in classes to a link. So let's go to configuration, text formats and editors. And because we are editing basic HTML, we will configure basic HTML and then scroll down till you get to allowed HTML settings. And what you need to do is add in class. And that's it. So now if we go back to contact us and let's paste in, well, actually you don't have to paste it in again. Here, the classes are back. And then if we click on save and then go to contact us, click on the button, we can now view the form in a dialogue window. Now, managing classes by clicking on source and adding in classes this way isn't the best user experience, especially for editors that may not be comfortable 
with HTML. Luckily, there is a module which we can use, and it is called Editor Advanced Link. Essentially, this will allow us to modify classes from this link window. Right now, we can just specify the URL, but we can't modify the classes. By using this module, it'll allow us to add in custom classes from this window. So let's go ahead and download this module. So I'll jump back into my terminal and type in composer require Drupal slash editor advanced link. And let's close this tab, let's close that. Let's go to extend, search for editor, and here it is, advanced link. Click on install, and then if we go here and refresh, and we select the link, then click on this link icon, and then advanced, we can see the classes right here. And then we can add in extra classes. So if I add in, say, primary, and then if we click on view source, we can see that class right there, and that's it. So Webform makes it very easy to display forms in a dialogue window. All you need to do is configure it in the Webform settings, and then just add the correct classes to your links, and that's it. So that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about Drupal and other CMSs, head over to webwash.net, and also don't forget to subscribe. And if you do have a question, please leave a comment. Anyway, that is it from me. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.